Now, thank you. The harp. Let's, would you mind doing that little passage? Um, Bronwyn, in the harp, he's giving G flat, D natural, E flat. Is that all helpful? It is. Do you mean at 43? Yes, at 43. So in the harp part, if you're not sure about harp writing, speak to a harpist because what harpists tend to do is rewrite all their parts. It doesn't matter who wrote it. The people they don't rewrite are Debussy, Ravel and Puccini. Richard Strauss they have to rewrite entirely. He didn't have a clue. And it's true, he didn't. And they, you have to rewrite every harp part of Strauss. And the harpists go insane rewriting parts. And the harp is a really interesting instrument because the harp is at home in C flat major. That's the harp's natural territory. I think that's right, isn't it, Bronwyn? C flat, we're happy in C flat. So, and that's the pedals will keep changing that. Now that's not life-changing information, but it's good trivia. So, <laughs> anyone ever ask you about the harp? So, let's listen to what the harp does, just at that point, at 43. Now there are three things the harp does that are interesting. One is the glissando. That's, that's happy harp. Glissando, happy harp. This one, not happy harp. And then even less happy, boom, harmonic up there after going that forever. And so the harp now hates the arranger. And that's all good. 